The air may be cold outside, but the crowd is hot in here tonight. This is House of Glory's Christmas special. And we have a stacked card for you tonight. The Women's Championship is on the line as the Ultraviolet puts her title on the line against Russian Dynamite Masha Slamovich. We will also see a six-way match to determine the number one contender for the House of Glory Cruiserweight Championship. And speaking of the Cruiserweight Championship, it's on the line to kick things off here. Let's take it down to the ring to David Adams. <laughs> Former friends, and I highlight the word former Monte, who finally won the Cruiserweight Championship. Jason from Casey Navarro at high intensity got the biggest opportunity of his life when New Japan last visited New York and got injured. He wanted to defend the title, he did not want to wrestle hurt. He promised Nolo a title match, and then the unthinkable Nolo turned. Yeah, I mean, you know, he agreed to give his friend a championship match and then for Nolo to do what he did. I mean, with friends like that, who needs enemies? Why should Nolo have believed Monte by the key and take When has Monte point? ever lied? Well, did he give Nolo the first title opportunity after he won the title? No, it went to the Grim Reaper, who deserved it. Why? Whereas Nolo has been busting his butt day in and day out. Well, you know, Professor, you bring up that point. We don't know that Nolo asked for that shot. You know, Nolo, maybe he didn't ask for a championship match. We Everyone wants a championship match. If you don't want a championship match, you shouldn't be here in Council of Glory. How do you trust a guy who wears a mask to begin to with? Add, to add to your point, Dr. Monte won three suicidal six ways, won the championship from Casey Navarro. In my honest opinion, Jason Monte could do whatever he wants at that point. Absolutely. Exactly, he could do whatever he wants. So why didn't he give a title shot immediately to his supposed friend, Nolo Katana? Because he's scared of Nolo. He's certainly scared of him now. Now this is a different Nolo than we're used to seeing. Selfish, ungrateful, unwarranted. All okay. cut from the same cloth, all trained in the same building. Now Nolo is finally aggressive. He has the killer instinct that a samurai should. Well, he's also got two accomplices. I'll mention that word again. Let's not forget. Both men locking up here. Stalemate. Equal in power are Nolo Kitano and Mighty Monte. This is Nolo's first one-on-one -on -one match for the House of Glory Cruiserweight Championship. We'll kick to the midsection there. Side headlock. Something else these two have had in common. You know, we, we talk about all of the suicidal six ways that we've seen Monte come out as the victor in, but Nolo Kitano is in most of those matches too. He's got a lot of experience in those suicidal six ways. You have to have eyes in the back of your head. You notice Nolo now using his voice, telling us what he stands for and how he feels in a way that he never did before. Now he still hasn't explained his action from the last show. I would love to know why he did what he did. He's been silent on that. Where this anger is coming from, nobody knows. Blow for blow here. The anger clearly comes from being overlooked. Flying shoulder tackle by Monte. And Nolo seeking cover. As he looks at that sword. He thought about it. He thought about it. Monte standing his ground. Monte's been a 
staple here in Hustle. There, yeah, you know, there he goes. Can we get that sword out of the ring? Yeah, Nolo cannot allow his emotions to get the best of him. As satisfying as it would be to run Monte through with that katana, it won't win him the title. Queens, New York, use it, they say. As he hands it back to the referee. Well, it's New York. I mean, are you surprised by this? <laughs> they are bloodthirsty. Roll up from behind him, Monte. Contact close on. Nice, had CC takedown. Big drop kick. Nolo rolls to the outside. Looks like Nolo's gonna fly. The mighty Monte, as Nolo saw that one coming. Very smart on the part of Nolo Kitano, evading that dive. Monte was injured Nolo, not too long ago. Nolo being a lot more vocal with the uh, crowd here tonight. That's right, give them a piece of your mind, Nolo. Uh, he's gotta stay focused on the champion if he wants to win the title. No, no, uh, Monte, rather, was injured. That leg injury happening at a New Japan Pro Wrestling show a couple of months ago seems to be 100%. Off the ropes. Nolo, eyes in the back of his head, ducks that clothesline, kick to the midsection. One step ahead of Mighty Monte is Nolo Kitano. Up, uh, and drapes him over that top rope, right into the rib cage. Great psychological warfare. And that's Nolo a smart Kitano. move there, Doctor, working on that leg, taking Monte's main offensive attack you away. See, he's clutching the ankle. It was a bro it was an ankle injury. So you wonder if Nolo is going to exploit that injury. And Look at this. This is not a side of Nolo that we used to see. No. Does not care at all. As perhaps it will be the side of Nolo that is a winner tonight. It's Monte trying to fight back with those close fists to the midsection. Nolo caught that one. Ooh. Ooh big rising knee right to the side of the face and a big kick to the small of the back. I feel that one. Nolo laughing. Well, Nolo's, yeah, he's, I was about to say, he's enjoying himself. Razor sharp attacks from the Ghetto Samurai. Big knife edge chop. And Nolo now working the referee's five count. Utilizing the ring ropes to his advantage. Nolo now understanding that he must use everything at his disposal in order to try to win the championship. Devastating knee drop right on that Achilles tendon from Nolo Kitano. Yeah, we, we, we hear so many things about Nolo Kitano and the heart that he has. We've seen it on display here on these shows. Nobody has more heart than, than Montekia. No. No Locatano. Beautiful snap power slam. Hooks the leg there. Ooh. Oh. Very close. Very close. It looks like Nolo finally has some brains to match that heart. Well, it's uh, like I said, Nolo has heart, but Monte has heart like nobody else. And it would be such a shame to me after the year that he's had. All the struggles to finally get to the championship, only to have it taken away from him heading into the new year. All started when Amazing Red wanted to give Monte that championship. Monte wanted to win it clean, fair and square. Casey Navarro interjected himself. After months, he finally vanquished Casey Navarro. Big knife that shot there by Nolan. And standing, waiting in the shadows behind Montequilla was Nolo Kitano. And he is now stepping out into the spotlight, as he should. What a spotlight that would be if he beats Monte for the Cruiserweight Championship here. Irish Whip. Wow, look at that big double knee in the corner. The leaping meteor. Well, you hear that confidence, Doc. You said it. That's a confident man tonight. And you need that confidence in order to be a champion. You need to know that you can win it. Sneaking with the House of Lords faithful. Here, Monte, he goes up and over. Off the ropes, close line missed. Big flying forearm there by Monte. Nolo can't let Monte gather this kind of momentum. Up and over. 
Step up kick there by Monte. He's going where he shines most. Up top. Big cross body. Ooh. Monte's feeling the power of the House of Glory faithful here tonight. But just like that, a kick to the head stops that momentum from Montequia. Oh, now. Wow, that's a beautiful reversal there. Stun Dog Millionaire by Monte hooks the leg. Mm. Almost had the title there in his breath. Well, Kitano is still in this one. But he's going to have to mount some kind of offense soon if he wants a hope of winning the title. He's allowing Nolo to get back to his feet. Kick to the midsection. Might be going for that code red. Yes, indeed. Signature of Amazing Red. Oh. Big kick to the side of the face. And Nolo. Nice backbreaker. Wow, look at that spinning heel kick. Monte goes down. Nolo hooks the leg. Wow. Excellent, innovative combination from Nolo Kitano there, but it was not enough to win him the title. You can just see on Nolo's expression, he feels the title is won here. Wow, what a beautiful sit-out powerbomb. Tiger driver, oh, that was very close. This is the heart I was talking about when it comes to Monte. And Nolo, he can't let his emotions get the better of him here. There's that inexperience there. Can't do that. Referee Stephen Dumang has uh -oh. returned to House of Glory. He's staring at that katana. I don't like where this is headed. He's in a dangerous place right now. And the referee is ordering him to put it down. Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness. The sword is unsheathed. Wow! And the scabbard utilized as a weapon. That was brilliant. Nolo trying every trick in the book here. Wow, what a beautiful reversal there by Monte! And, and then he got him! him. And look at this! Oh, and again, look at this! Again, again with this. These masked men! The acolytes of Nolo Kitano. Oh, this is ridiculous are letting Montequia know what Nolo thinks of uh, him pulling out that victory there. Yeah. Will we see the Trigrams oh rotation? I'll bet, I'll bet he's real proud of himself. Well, Nolo has nobody to blame but himself for losing that match to Monte. Well, you can hold that championship high above your head. It, it doesn't make you the champion. Coming up next, the Ultraviolet looks to extend her reign as HOG Women's Champion. But first, let's hear from her opponent. I'm Sandal Jenna here at House of Glory Revelations, where I'm joined by Masha Slanovich, who tonight will go head to head with her former tag team partner, the Cog Women's Champion, Ultraviolet. What are your thoughts ahead of that personal match? My thoughts, Sam, are quite simple. Nobody here is a stranger to see what I've been doing the past two years since I've returned from Japan. And what has Ultraviolet been doing? Oh, right, that's a whole lot of nothing. While I was grinding away in the dojo, suffering every single day, devoting my blood, my sweat, my tears to wrestling, where were you? When I was riding across the country doing every damn show, where were you? When I needed a tag partner to step up and fulfill the promises that we made to each other, where were you, Violet? Where were you? when it was time to act and move past all the good words and all the cheer and all the fun on the road. What happens when it's time to put in that work? It's time tonight. So everyone's gonna find out who the better part of bad company really is. And it's gonna be exposed tonight that I was always the muscle. You were always just the mouth violet. So I hope you're ready to step up or lose that belt. That match is coming up next, but first, if you are enjoying the action you are seeing right here tonight, head over to Fight TV to watch the full HOG Revelations event. It was a night of non-stop action with a stacked card, including the House of Glory World Championship match.
match between Jacob Fatu and Nick Aldis. Plus a rematch 17 years in the making as Low Key went one on one with Kenta. You'll also see a two out of three falls tag team championship match between the Briscoes and main event. Head over to Fight TV for the full event and more House of Glory shows from this past year. And we are joined for this next match, JD, by a very special guest, Sam Laterna is back with us. Thanks for having me, guys. Our pleasure. This is going to be a match. I've been looking forward to this. And I know this is someone that you are very familiar with. Oh, yes. I uh, I am a Masha Slamovich aficionado, some say. <laughs> Introducing first, the challenger, bringing her bring the ring from Moscow, Russia. Russian Dynamite, Masha Slamovich! So, Masha Slamovich has been on a tear this year. Just about everyone knows that she signed to Impact in a grand fashion, uh, returned to House of Glory earlier this year, and now goes head-to-head -head with former tag team partner. Ultra violent. Ultra. This one's gonna get personal, boys. <laughs> and it was at high intensity in the Matt Travis Memorial Battle Royal where she won an opportunity to have a title shot of her choosing. And she won the women's championship, and here we are. Yes, defeating Natalia. Ever since defeating Natalia Markova for this Hog Women's Championship, she has been a fighting champion, defeating Janai Kai last month, and now going head to head with, I think, her biggest competition to date in Masha, someone that knows her so well, someone that's going to give her a run for her money and really see if. There's any bad blood, I guess bad company between these two ladies So That's what I'm curious well, about. I would, I would think that all that goes out the window in the championship. The Once line. the bell rings, and that right there, <laughs> that, that championship, that's really all that matters. Well, if I know Masha, Masha gets a little bit blood hungry uh, when it comes to anything having to do with wins and gold. But I know that Violet has been such a stalwart here at House of Glory, and she wants to look to continue that momentum here and really push the women's division forward, not just for herself, but for all of women's wrestling. Side headlock there, side headlock takedown by Masha. Head scissors there by Violet. You know, we mentioned how tough Masha is. Two things that Masha loves and is very good at. One is death matches. She's a very big fan of death match wrestling and also intergender matches. It doesn't matter to her whether you're male or female. She's an equal opportunity offender. She'll go in there and she'll beat you down. So I love it. She's a, she's a tough competitor here. It's not going to be easy for Violet. She is, I think Masha actually holds uh, a close second to Mike Bailey and that she has competed in the most intergender matches this year, if not the most matches this year wow. on the independent scene. But Violet certainly putting Masha in check early on in this match, letting her know that while Masha's been traveling all around the Indies, Violet has been here honing in on her craft and also recovering that hand injury as we spoke about because, oh, drop toe hold there because that was quite the journey back to recovery. Okay. Violet didn't know if she'd ever compete again. Right. That's right. The thing about, uh, you know, Masha that's kind of interesting, especially us being here in New York tonight, trained by Johnny Rods and the Amazing Man. She has training from both of them, two, two, I mean, you talk about legends in New York, they've trained countless Hall of Famers. Started when she was 16 years old, 18 years old, made her first voyage on excursion to Japan. So she's been all over the place. She's wrestled, I mean, you talk about different places in the world, Dominican Republic, Russia, Puerto Rico, and it's all brought her here to Queens, New York. It's a House of Glory championship match tonight. Oh, some some quick footwork wow, there by Masha. That's that a impressive. nice leg takedown there by Masha. Very impressive. Masha is a master of all of the wrestling disciplines. As you said, Solomon, she loves death matches. She excels in those, but she's also a technician, a powerhouse, a brawler, all in one. Oh, she could do all the styles. 
And she had a she had a knockdown drag out fight with Jordan Grace for the Impact Knockouts Championship. Two, and, as a matter of fact. Well, I was going to say actually more than one, but yeah, the most recent one, my personal favorite, didn't work out well for her, but. It did not. Oh, that wow. Impact title has eluded her, but could she be the new Hog Women's Champion? Ultraviolet says not today. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful good. reversal there by the Ultraviolet. The way things are going, I don't know. Very evenly matched, I say, Jason. So, so far. far, so far. But we're still early. You see who runs Rasha out of can't gas believe first. It. She's shaking her head. Oh. And a little dialogue going on. I think just like they're you alluded looking, to, Sam, they're, they're, they're bad company. Look, look, look at that. I don't know if I trust this. Look at that. Oh! Thumb to the eye! <laughs> what dastardly behavior by Slamovich. Hey, the championship's up. Oh! You do what you need to do. I think it's great. Right to the face cover here. Unsuccessful in that cover. Well, I, I don't know where this friendship lies after that. Now Masha Slamovich just wow. ragdolling wow. our champion. Pulling the hair, slamming her down. You want to be friends? You wait till after the show. You guys can go hang out. This I is about the championship. And I love it. The referee's letting it go. I don't think there's going to be any love loss after this, this particular match. Now Masha Slamovich clearly on the offensive. You saw Violet was feeling around. She might be uh, bloody around the mouth. It's hard to tell. She got nailed right in the face. Maybe, maybe I, I see it right there, Jason. Yeah. Maybe a loose tooth, bloody tooth, broken nose. Nobody knows. I think with Masha, when she smells blood, she somehow gets strong. Like a shark, exactly. shall we say. Exactly <laughs> like a shark. You took the words right out of my mouth. Like a shark tasting blood. But in the same token, when someone tastes their own blood, that can also really motivate them to keep continuing on. And I certainly hope there's more fight in Ultraviolet right now. On the outside, Masha coming in for the kill. Action's go to the outside now. Masha with that big forearm. You see Violet there, bloody from the mouth. Oof. Oh my oh. goodness. Ow. Right in front of the House of Glory Faithful. They're on the opposite side. We can feel it all the way over here. Look at her. Oh! La boom! The barricade's <laughs> getting some work I was about to say, there you go, boom, right into the barricade. <laughs> that was great. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Masha's loving it. She is enjoying herself. You don't want to take too much time away from your opponent, though. Creating that distance allows Violet to mount an offense here. Well, I was about to say, wow. also, I don't want to get counted out, but the referee is trying to get them back in the ring. I don't know if the referee's going to be able to handle these two ladies. These are two spitfires. Poor guy. <laughs> Masha just waving him off. You're not going to tell Masha Slamovich what to do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Chopping a mud hole through the chest of Ultraviolet. Look at the, look at the scar. In that oh, hole. Violet comes back with one of her own. And another. And another. And another. Giving her a taste of her own medicine. But Slamovich. Oh. Donkey kick there to the, to the stomach of Violet. The referee's being very lenient here. I love it. I have no problem with that whatsoever. The championship match. You can and Violet see, chasing out on our feet. You can see the, the, the scars and the battle wounds on Masha. She loves this, this type of street fight type atmosphere. She thrives on it. Goes for a very lackadaisical uh, cover there. It take more than that to beat the ultraviolet. Anything that Masha can do to be an agent of chaos in a match, shall we say? Uh, she will do, and I think she has something up her sleeve right now. Oh, maybe going for brain soup, but Violet had it scouted. Wow, what a beautiful snap suplex there by Masha. Well, I think it's safe to say it's only her second title defense, but I think it's safe to say this is by far the toughest challenge that Violet has faced for her championship. I think that goes without saying. I see this I disagree with. Masha can't let the fans get to her. She's got to stay on top of Violet. She can't. Those kinds of distractions, you that's, just can't let get to you. That's what it'll cost you. But the crowd very clearly behind. Actually. A little half and half. Half and half there. Yeah, I couldn't hear it through my headsets at first. 
after all, these two ladies are both from New York, so I understand why the crowd is split as these two exchange blows. Oh, what a shot there by Violet. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Masha. Look at those rapid fire strikes. Oh my goodness. Looking to knock the air out of Violet, but she continues on. Violet off the ropes. Oh, what a big boot there by Masha. Well, if she wasn't missing it too, she is now. Off the ropes again. This is that clothesline. Wow, both ladies knock each other out. You talk about a, a, a seesaw battle, even back and forth, back and forth. I can't call it. It's anyone's game. I can't call it. I'm going to guess, though, whoever stands up first might have pretty good odds going into the second half of this match. We'll have to see. Violet up. Yeah, Masha's still down. Could this be the second win she needs as Masha comes to her feet? She charges in. Big running clothesline by Violet. Big elbow. Into the turnbuckle. Violet now. Second turnbuckle. Big drop kick. Quickly goes for cover, hooks the leg. Ooh. Masha Slamovich kicking out at the very last second. The match continues. That might have been everything she had left, Jason. I think that's more instinct than anything else. Now it comes down to who wants it more. Who wants the Hog Women's Championship more? Oh, goes for that side Russian. What? But, oh, what's this? I don't know what she was going for there, but Masha rolled through. Spinning back fist. Roundhouse, Violet is teetering on the brink. Oh, right on the side of the head, right in the temple. I, I don't know how much more Violet can I, take of this. I don't know either. I said it at the beginning, it's gonna come down to who runs out of gas first. Again makes the cover, doesn't hook the leg, and that may come back to bite Masha. Violet gets that right shoulder up, still alive in this HOG Women's Championship yeah, match. They, they have been in a war. It's gonna come down to who, who can get that last shot. You don't want to get in a strike battle with Masha. Oh, that one was pure instinct right there. Spinning back fist by Violet off that big kick by Masha. Big rolling combo kick there by Violet. I don't know if she got all of it though. And Masha comes back with one of her own. And Violet is in dreamland. <gasps> German suplex! Black. She went for the Travis Plex, couldn't get the bridge. And Masha, a released German. Both women trading moves back and forth. She's going for it again, and she got it. Look at that impact just folding up, Slamovich. If she can't capitalize, she's got to follow up. Masha to her feet, but she seems dazed. Oh, oh. Home. Masha just collapsed. I have never seen Masha Slamovich fall to this her may, feet. This may be it. Dead weight. Violet. Wow. Masha with presence of mind just to inch that shoulder up at the very last second. I mean, uh, how many times have you seen Masha just collapse like that to the mat? <laughs> never. Never. I mean, never. And I've seen her in some battles before, but nothing like this. And this crowd is loving it. Sense. Irish whip. Masha, slow to recover there, misses that big boot. Violet now. Oh. Oh! Got oh. the leg. She's got her firmly in her grasp. This is it, Jason. This is a compound V. She calls that compound V. But she's not going for the cover. Too slow to make the cover. Violet, too exhausted oh. from this match to make the cover in time, or will she? Yes, she does, but is this enough? No, it is not enough. Unbelievable. Had she been able to make that cover, that would have been it. But she just did not have the energy. You can see the replay here. Violet transitions into what she calls chasing compound V. Compound V. Drops Masha right on the back of her head, but wasn't. Quick enough to make the cover. 
And LaBoom is booming here tonight for both of these ladies. Uh-oh. Electric chair by Masha coming out of the corner. Violet, those fists right to the face. Oh, oh, could this be something? No, no, no. What are we going for here? Could be an air raid crash. Oh, oh my oh. God! Masha going for the kill legitimately. Drags Violet, hooks the leg, one, two. I don't believe it. Jason, this is the grittiest performance from Violet I've ever seen. This is incredible as well. I mean, you want to talk about the will to win. This is, I have never seen a Violet match like this before where she just had to keep fighting back. Look at this. Masha saw gold in her line of sight. That was and the. I thought Violet, that was. Oh, I thought goodness. that was the kill shot right there, and Violet Look at said, these "Kicks right to the not, face." Not today, she said. Oh my God! Oh. Wow! Violet has had enough. Oh. What's oh, Masha no. got going on here? I'm gonna try it again. She tried for this before. And Violet completely out of it. Oh. Victory roll, victory roll, one, two, three, wow! New York City, here is your winner and still your House of Glory Women's Champion, the Ultra Fire. Let me tell both of you guys something. We know our professional wrestling, Jason, what this woman's been through this year. That was the best House of Glory Women's Championship match of 2022. Well, I, I, I dare say it might be the best House of Glory Women's Championship match that there has ever been. Back and forth so many times, so evenly matched, and it comes down to a victory roll, which just goes to show you that this could have gone either way tonight. And ultimately tonight, our champion, our Hog Women's Champion, retains the title, outsmarting a shock, Masha Slamovic. Hopefully, that shows Slamovic to give her a little bit more respect. Well, I think both these women come out of this match with more respect than they had even coming into Look it. Look at Masha at the top of the ring. I'm ready for match number two. Let's do it. What a night for Ultra Violet. Our six-way main event is coming up next, but first, if you're enjoying the action that you're seeing here tonight, head over to Fight TV to watch the full HOG Revelations event. It was a night of non-stop action with a stacked card, including an HOG world title match between Jacob Fatu and Nick Aldis. Plus a rematch 17 years in the making. It's low-key against Kenta. You'll also see a two out of three falls tag team championship match between the Briscoes and main event. Head over to Fight.TV for the full event and more House of Glory shows from the past year. So Luke is here live at House of Glory Revelations with the women's champion, Ultraviolet, who just had a very personal match with Masha Slamovich. Moving into 2023, you have a target on your back. Tonight was the hardest match of my life. Masha knows me. Masha and I have started in the independent scene together in the beginning. And she knows my weaknesses better than anyone. And she threw everything she had at me. And that wasn't enough to keep me down. So moving forward, it doesn't matter if there's a target on my back. It doesn't matter who's in there or what they do to me. I'm ready to defend this. I'm ready to show everyone how hard I've trained and everything I've put into this. I love this, and no one is going to take it from me, no matter what. It's time for some suicidal six-way action. And here comes Michael Fane. The present, the future, and the best all-in-one Michael Fane. Michael Fane. Michael Fane. There you go. I was going to say Doc here, yeah, but. He has a lot of confidence in himself. He has had some great showings here, but has yet to pick up that big win. Maybe he'll do it here tonight in this suicidal six way match. One of the toughest matches to win, Jason. 
As we alluded to earlier, Monte won three of these matches in a row. Incredible. Incredible. And we may never see that happen again. And here comes Ben Root Freeze, the hype beast. He expresses his deranged psyche through his sartorial choices. That means clothing. Sartorial. You could have just said that. Wait a minute. What is this? We're getting the holiday spirit here. Don't tell me. It's Santa Claus. The single has wow. The there is no Santa Claus. It's right there. No, wait a second. I've seen that. Oh, I've I seen that guy before. Yes, he's wearing that Claus. stupid I'm beard. North Pole. I hope he brought gifts. Oh, I from hope he brought gifts. Hail from the North Pole with an official weight of an undisclosed amount of gluten-free milking cookies. This is been a good little boy. I want my gift. I want my gift. far behind, or not too far behind, is Mrs. Claus. I've seen those aviator sunglasses before. That is obviously yeah. Sweet Cheek yeah, Joey Silver. Right. R R Rudolph is outside. That is though. obviously Joey Silver, you moron. I'm just out. jealous because you've been a bad boy this year, and you're not going to oh, get any, any gifts. Give me a break. You're going to get coal in your stocking, give me a and break. you deserve it. And who do we have here? The next competitor, Harry from the country of Queens, New York. Weighing at 195 rolls of duct tape. Wow, oh, Catano! That was El Trabajador. <laughs> the blue collar idiot who you sometimes see cleaning up around the ring. <laughs> but thankfully, Nolo Catano took care of that. And here he is with his acolytes <laughs> once again. Did you say Troubadour? <laughs> Trabajador. <laughs> oh my God. We got Santa Claus and Nolo Catano. Samurai Nolo Catano and his two ninja. Well, wait, wait a minute. How, Jason, how could Nolo be out here when he just lost? A Cruiserweight Championship well, match to open the show. We said earlier, it felt like this wasn't the end of the issue with Nolo and Monte, and I think Nolo has taken it upon himself to what? enter himself into well, the Santa staff. Claus He's has getting another a, opportunity. Santa Claus has such a oh, tremendous wait a minute, wait presence a minute. here. Wait a minute, look at this. We got three Katanas in the ring. Well, they can't, they can't Katana Santa Claus. No, because Santa Claus doesn't exist. They could certainly, like they what could are we certainly Katana right Joey Silver. They could slice Joey Silver up good. What do you, Joey Silver's nowhere in the building, Doc. He's wearing the stupid hat and beard. That's... You absolute nincompoop. He wasn't booked for tonight. Can't you see? John Clearly, I am the it. only one who can see anything well, here. Well, the referee is trying to get some order here. Called, okay, well, here we go. We are underway now. Are the ninjas in this match? I guess Apparently. so. Santa has taken center stage here. Santa having some trouble with his beard. Oh, yes. my, oh my God, how could they? That is now my favorite ninja. Down goes Santa. Chris Kringle, he just had his uh, his, his Kringle Chris, I guess. You, I don't know what I'm saying here. I don't know what's going on. Or Santa Claus. I feel so bad for Santa Claus. And here's Michael Fane. Well, life goes on. Taking advantage as he should. Michael Fane is trying to make friends with the ninjas here. I don't think that's going to work out too Somebody well. Somebody go get Santa Claus some cookies and milk, please. Well, so far, the Alliance hey, is Nolo, paying off here. Nolo is just taking a seat and watching and admiring the handiwork. Maybe, the maybe Michael Fane will be a ninja too. 
Oh, well, that, that ended pretty quickly. You were saying? Well, they have hijacked this six-way match. And remember, the winner is going to be in line for a Cruiserweight Championship match. It's a Cruiserweight Championship match that Nolo Katano lost earlier in the evening. Well, so Nolo. Sore loser. Well, Nolo, with his loyal acolytes, has a huge advantage here, obviously. Michael Fan is in trouble. Well, you can't trust the ninja. For all we know, they may turn on Nolo. Well, well listen, Nolo. You can't trust a ninja. No, Nolo Katano's in trouble, too. He just beat down Santa Claus. Down goes He's Michael not getting Fane. anything this year. Ninjas are all about honor. Santa Claus is back. Look at that. Wow. Um. Santa Claus dumps one of the ninjas to the outside. Santa has uh, slimmed down, I noticed. Uh, well, listen. I mean, it's good for his health. I mean, I'm happy for him, but he's looking svelte. Yeah, look at that. New outfit this year. Oh, Ben Rutten, he knows fashion. I mean, he's acknowledging Santa Claus, giving him his props. Nolo is nonplussed by all this as he sits on the top. Doc, I don't know what you're talking about. I think about. this speaks against Rutten's cre credibility as a uh, fashionista. Well, look at that. Santa Claus. Holds on to the top rope there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look. Ball the dog takes out by Santa off. Claus. That is obviously Joey Silver. I, I have no idea what you're look talking at, about. Look at just look. That is Santa. He just put the beard back on. How can you tell? Joey Silver is at home watching the show on Fight TV. How do you know that? He just, he just texted me. JD. So now you're blind and a liar. Ninja's now putting the boots to poor old Jolly St. Nick here. Oh. Christmas baby canceled, folks. I'm sorry. Big boot there by the obviously larger of the two ninjas here. I mean, you call them Ninja 1 and Ninja 2, I guess. <laughs> Effective tag team offense, but here comes Michael Fane. Oh, oh. oh I turned that one inside out. It's brutal. Almost took his head off. Fane getting a measure of revenge here. Santa Claus fixing his beard there. Ooh. As Nolo with that spinning kick takes Santa, Michael Fane out. Santa Absolute precision on the part of Nolo Katano there with that end security. Thankfully, we're not in Philadelphia, so Santa Claus will not be booed. He should be. Santa Silver. I, I, again, I, I hear Comet and Blitzen on the outside of the arena dock. They're ready to go as soon as this match is on. How much of that alcohol have you well, had you, tonight? You, you, yeah, you haven't had, had any yet. Check there. I haven't had any yet. Now you're hearing reindeer. It's too expensive here in the venue. You can call me here. Now, poor Santa Claus got a double kick to the face there. This is the damnedest thing I think I've ever seen. Ah. Big clothesline there by Ben Rutten. Big suplex and down. Suplex into a kind of Uranagi there. Nolo sees an oh, opening, there's oh, that whoa. double knee. All the momentum took him right over the top rope. He almost landed right on his head. Nolo oh. just waiting in the wings for an opportunity to strike at each one of these competitors who are not part of his retinue. That poor Santa Claus now on the receiving end of a three-on-one attack. Look at this. Double noggin knocker there by Santa. Big boot. And here comes Ben Rutten scaling the top rope. That's a big man, Ben Rutten off the top. Big crossbody takes them all down. Amazing agility on the part of big Ben Rutten. I hope Santa doesn't get hurt. He's got a uh, well, job to well, do. I, I, heard him, I heard him talk to Ben Rutten. What do you want for Christmas year, this year, buddy? Santa's a very giving man. There's Ninja, Ninja 1 here. Ninja 2 goes down. Rutten, the proverbial house of fire. Well, this is what he has to do. Take these ninjas out of the equation. Now he's got Nolo all by himself. He calls wow. that the runway crash. That's a beautiful move there. Goes for a cover. And the ninjas pull Nolo out to safety. His insurance policy. Uh, but they may not be safe. 
And Ben Rutten here. Ben Rutten with a suicide dive, knocks Nola to the front row. And has all these imbeciles here in Laboom on their feet. And there's Michael Fane. Oh, a nice hard boot to the face there. Uh, uh, Santa waiting in the wings here. Santa Claus climbing the top rope. Santa with a hurricanrana oh. down to the floor. My God. Joey Silver there may have crocked his head on the apron as he came down with that rana. The main Santa. Maybe he knocked some sense back into himself. Oh, 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 oh. Alive. They're coming alive for Santa. Look at this replay here. Santa off the top. What do you call that? Santa Carana, you can Santa that. Carana, there, there you go. go. And now Santa, he might, he might be going for the uh -oh. finish. Oh, look at this. One of those ninjas comes in, leaps off the top rope, and now this obviously larger of the two ninjas setting up poor Santa Claus. All right. Oh, oh. my God, a reverse Michinoku driver there. Wow, a split-legged frog splash. Wow, these ninjas are quite impressive, Doc, huh? Absolutely, and they've left that imbecile there at the mercy of Nolo Kitano. Santa Claus. Joey Silver in the big, ugly red Jumpsuit. No, I think you need and to get your eyes checked. You keep calling yeah, I'm gonna, him Joey let me, let me Silver. Yeah, let me get on Zoom and get jo Joey Silver on the phone here just so that uh, we can prove you wrong. Yeah, go ahead. Look at this. Probably have some pre-recorded video. This is a bad position for Santa. Santa Claus. Christmas might be canceled. Oh, look at that. Wow, a poison rana by Santa. Wow. Incredible offense there from Joey Silver, who I refuse to call anything but that his name. I never seen such offense from Santa Claus. Uh, Michael fail. Oh. He went for that future classic. Yes, he did. Santa slips back. Only gets a two count. There's uh, entering and breaking one of the signature moves of Officer Sweet. Oh, oh my God, he just spit blue mist in Santa's face. Are you kidding me? Are and you kidding me? What a no no win. Nolo Katano just stole Christmas and he just stole this match, Jason. I don't know what to say to what I just saw. Nolo Kitano earns himself another shot well, at the Cruiserweight Championship. The ninjas earned him a shot. He spit, I think that was just. For this match, I have been informed that Nolo Kitano is now the new number one contender. And there you go. I think that was just another title shot. I think uh, that was just candy spray that he spit uh, in Joey Silver's face. I don't face. know how Hog Management is allowing this to happen. <laughs> and entering there by Santa Claus. On the two, and then no one with the blue mist in the face. Home invasion, that's the only thing that guy has in common with the mythical Santa Claus. And Nolo Gitano victorious. I think Christmas just got canceled this year, boys. I'm sure Doc is happy about that. Yeah, well, fewer we delusional children who believe in some mythical being that's going to bring that's them that's presents. Yeah, you'll be celebrating Christmas with Charles Mason, I'm sure. I suppose he doesn't believe in the Tooth Fairy or the Easter Bunny either. Certainly not. Nolo Kitano has a great Christmas gift, another shot at the Cruiserweight title, and his former friend, uh, Mighty and, Monte. And poor Michael Fane here, he, he's wondering, what else do I have to do here in these six ways? Came up short once again. He's, he's thinking, am I really the present, the future, and the best? Wait a minute, what is this? What is, who, who are who these individuals is? here? Well, 
We know the man in front, that's that's Blackman. Right, yes, that's smooth Blackman. And, and who is this look? other individual? I believe that's Miss Kiki Van Gogh. He's reading him the riot act. What is the connection here? I don't know. Well, he's he's so handing when, him a beret. But when, if there's anything we know, Jason, when Smooth Blackman gets that animated, you know it's serious. Will Michael Fane take the beret? He is an intimidating individual, and that's exactly what Michael Fane did. There's some sort of alliance here. Some kind of, some kind of dominating unit here. What wow. did we just witness? I don't know. A, perhaps a revolution is taking yes. place before our eyes. Michael Fane may have just realized that their strength in numbers, as Nolo Kitano showed in that match. That's going to do it for us tonight. Happy holidays from everyone here at House of Glory. We'll see you again in 2023. What is going on here? First of all, first of all, Sam, don't get told. Don't forget who signs your paychecks. But to answer your question, and everyone else's question around here, we got three words for you. Because we can. Because we can. You see, in every business, there's the higher ups. And Sam, you're looking at the higher ups. We make the decisions around here, and this decision was against you, main event. You see, when Ryan Party got signed in AEW and set off to the sunset, we gave you guys the ball, but you never ran with it. It took you three times to beat the Briscoes. It's gonna take us more time to beat you. So February 3rd, it's you guys versus us. For your old HOG tag titles and our new HOG tag titles. What you think about that, Red? Oh, sounds amazing. See you in February, boys.